That's so gross. Ah, you kissing your son. You busting nasties with your son. That's so gross. Oh. <laughs> Officials at the Pacific Nuclear Research Facility have denied the rumor that a case of missing plutonium was in fact stolen from their vault two weeks ago. Yeah, he might need to get that fixed. All that burnt toast. Ugh. Ah. <laughs> Oh, that's the missing plutonium <laughs> that they just had on the news. Okay, okay. Doc is a thief, apparently. Hold on, I feel like I need to turn this down. Jesus Christ, you see how big that speaker is? Holy shit! <laughs> Yo, like you shouldn't be able to hear anything at all for the rest of your life after doing something like that. Those glasses should be knocked off your face. He should be dead. Equipment. That reminds me, Marty. You better not hook up to the amplifier. There's a slight possibility of overload. Yeah. I'll keep that in mind. Are you telling me that it's 825? Precisely. Damn. I'm late for school. Mm. I'm like, oh, hell no. You need to get off my car, bro. I'm not liable if something happened to you. That's <laughs> why you're a slacker. You remind me of your father when he went here. He was a slacker, too. <laughs> I know that you're banned. No McFly ever amounted to anything in the history of Hill Valley. Oh, dog! Why are you all in my face like that, though? History is gonna change. That's how people get punched. I'm afraid you're just too darn loud. Next, please. He ain't wrong. You didn't play on beat. You just played whatever you wanted to on top of that. Now, it probably would have sounded good by itself. But on top of that, yeah, that was terrible, yo. I can't believe it. You got no future. I mean, I just don't think I can take that kind of rejection. Jesus, I'm starting to sound like my old man. Come on, he's not that bad. At least he's letting you borrow the car. What? Does your mom know? Hell no. Who tell their mama about going to the lake? Well, Jennifer, job. Terrible. Save the clock tower. Save the clock tower. Oh, hell no, woman. You're going to be in our business like that? That's how people get punched. <laughs> Look at that station wagon with the wood panels. Oh, my God. I hate the goddamn station wagons. This is the third movie that I watched. Where they had the wood pen. And there's another station wagon going right by. Oh, God. <sighs> Perfect. I never noticed that uh, the car had any blind spot before when I would drive it. I saw it. <laughs> blind spot. There. How about she explain? I want to know who's going to pay for this. Oh it's hell no! When that car smashed into me, who's gonna pay my cleaning bill? Oh hell no! Uh, hey. Uh, well, I haven't finished those up yet, but you know I, I. It's funny because I'm an insurance adjuster, so I had to study all of this. Um, so like in this situation, um, what a lot of people don't know is like when it comes to like car insurance, like when you pay for those type of things, is you're not insuring the car, you're insuring yourself. So it doesn't matter like typically what car you drive. 
you know, you're insuring yourself, you know, driving those different vehicles. And that's why, like, if you go get a rental car or anything like that, and if you have personal, you know, insurance at, on your own vehicle, it transfers over because the insurance, you're essentially insuring yourself as a driver. So, yeah, that's a little tidbit that I picked up, you know, getting my insurance adjuster's license. But I, I digress. Let's back to get back to the show. I figured since they weren't due to... Hello? Hello? Anybody home? Oh, Think me twice. And all you got for me is light beer? <laughs> oh, yeah, this dude's a douche for real, for real. <laughs> I needed that car in the morning. Dad, I mean, do you have any idea how important this was to me? Do you have any clue? Yeah, he was about to lose his virginity. Come on, Dad. You should understand. You just Please blocked your son's your pathway to manhood, I guess. <laughs> your Uncle Joey didn't make parole again. I think it would be nice if you all dropped him a line. We're outside pouting over the car. Jennifer Parker called you twice. I don't like her, Marty. Any girl who calls her boy is just asking for trouble. It just happened. Like the way I met your father. That was so stupid. Grandpa hit him with the car. <laughs> it's meant to be. Yeah, okay. Anyway. <laughs> if I hadn't hit him, then none of you would have been born. So you decided to go with him to the fish under the sea dance. No, no. It was the enchantment under the sea dance. Our first date. I was gonna spend the rest of my life with him. I bet you're regretting that shit right now. <laughs> look at <laughs> look at them like yeah. Twin Pines Mall. Out of time. <laughs> hey, that's a dope license plate. <laughs> I never. Let's see. That boy looks smooth. <laughs> Standing on the parking lot at Twin Pines Mall. It's Saturday morning, October 26, 1985, 118 a.m. And this is temporal experiment number one. Come on, honey. Hey. He gonna send his dog. Back. Clark, watch this. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe hits 88 miles per hour. You're gonna see some serious shit. He looked at him like, you better get back in this goddamn spot. <laughs> oh, hell no. Nah. Mm. His Nikes are supposed to be on fire. Oh, that's crazy. If you're gonna build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? <laughs> the stainless steel construction made the flux dispersal. Look out! Ooh. They almost died. <laughs> You're like, yeah, that was supposed to happen. <laughs> Einstein, you little devil! Einstein's clock is exactly one minute behind mine and still in time on this keypad. Say you want to see the sign of the Declaration of Independence. Nope, I don't want to go there. Well, they was killing black people at that point. Time travel. I remember it vividly. A picture of this. This is what makes time travel possible. The flux capacitor. He got all that from hitting his head. He had this crazy idea. 
about breeding pine trees. <laughs> this is Hamiltonian. Uh, Did you rip that off? Of course. Come on, let's get you a radiation suit. Mmm. He ripped off the Libyans. Mmm. Safe now. Everything's that line. World Series. Uh, Doc. Huh? Uh, look me up when you get there. Indeed, I will. They found me. I don't know how, but they found me. Run for it, Marty! Aw, oh, shit. Who do you think? The Libyans! Aw, oh, shit. The Libyans. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh. That was stupid. You did all that to call him a name? Why wow, he got an AK-47? I get he shot your boy, but damn. <laughs> Come on. He whipping it. Ho <laughs> ho! He about to blow your ass up. <laughs> Let's see if you. Tales from space. <laughs> oh, wow, he even came out in the hazmat suit. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Wait, get out of there! Dude, it's in the human form. Shoot it! Oh, that's that's old man Peabody that Doc was talking about. <laughs> that is very unfortunate. Platonium chamber empty. And it sucks. I gotta block all this part out due to copyright because of the music. Sorry, y'all. Jump ship? What? What's with the life preserver? <laughs> tab. Tab? I can't give you a tab unless you order something. All right, give me a Pepsi free. If you want a Pepsi, pal, you're gonna pay for it. Hey, just give me some. Hey, McFly! What do you think you're doing? <laughs> Jeff. Hey, I'm talking to you, McFly. Actually, I figured you'd be <laughs> Hello? Hello? Anybody home? Hey, think, McFly. Think. I gotta have time to recopy. They've been doing this dance well, for 30 years. What happen, would you? Would you? Well, now, of course not. No. Jeff, I wouldn't no. want that to happen. <laughs> what are you looking at, butthead? I don't want to see you in here okay. again. <laughs> All right, bye-bye. <laughs> What? 
You're George McFly. Yeah, who are you? Say, what do you let those boys push you around like that for? <laughs> mayor. <laughs> That's a good idea. I could run for mayor. A colored mayor, that'll be the day. You mm. wait and see, Mr. Kutch. You can start by sweeping the floor. Mayor Goldie with <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this dude was a peeping tom. A little pervert. Oh man. That's a hell of a thing to realize about your dad. <laughs> dad. Another one of these damn kids jumped in front of my car. Come on out here, help me take him in the house. Oh, another one. So he's done this before. He's hit a couple kids. Horrible nightmare. Dream that I went back in time. 1955. Mm. Mm. You're so... You're so... Thin. Relax, <laughs> When you've got a big bruise on your head. Call me Calvin. Well, that is your name, isn't it? Calvin Klein? Calvin Klein. Do you mind if I sit here? No, fine. No, good, fine, good. That's a, a big bruise. Mm. That gotta be so weird. Oh, just thinking about it. Uncle Joey. <laughs> gotta get used to these bars, kid. <laughs> Man, she will not stop staring. Her first television set. Dad just picked it up today. Hey. Hey, I've seen this one. I've seen this one. This is a classic. This is uh, where Ralph dresses up as a man from space. Paul, I don't want her to worry about you. You can't. Uh, that is, uh, nobody, uh, nobody's home. Oh. I mean, I blocked past Maple. That's, uh, that's John F. Kennedy Drive. Who the hell is John F. Kennedy? Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, gee, I don't know. Oh God! He's an idiot. Comes from upbringing. Parents are probably idiots too. Oh wow, that's <laughs> oh that's too funny. That's gross. You just lick that, bro. That's real gross. I'm from the future. I came here in a time machine that you invented. Now I need your help to get back to the... What this means? It means that this damn thing doesn't work at all. You were the only one in My sister and me. Look at her sweatshirt, Doc. Class of 1984. Pretty mediocre photographic fakery. They cut off your brother's hair. Who's president of the United States in 1985? Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan? The actor? Who's vice president? Jerry Lewis. <laughs> I suppose Jerry Lewis. idea for the flux capacitor, which is what makes time travel possible. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what the hell? That shit just happened today. <laughs> oh, man. Flux capacitor. It worked. I finally invent something that works. Mm. But your ass, it works. Wow, this, this is a radiation suit. Radiation suit? Of course. 
It took all the fallout from the atomic wars. This. The atomic wars. Hey, ain't been no damn atomic wars. Serious repercussions on future events. Do you understand? Yeah, sure. Okay. Marty, have you interrupt been erased. Erased from existence. Mm. Gosh, this is heavy. <laughs> Real mature. Maybe we were adopted. <laughs> 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 Your mother ever seen that kid? No, no, Doc. I don't know. I, I guess she felt sorry for him because her dad hit him with the car. Hit me with the car. Calvin! I'd like to meet my good friend George McFly. Hi. It's really a pleasure to meet you. Mm. She saw right through him. Like he was invisible. <laughs> that was embarrassing. <laughs> he just walked off. <laughs> Is there a problem with the Earth's gravitational pull? Nothing. Look, there's a rhythmic ceremonial ritual coming up. Of course, the enchantment under the sea dance. They're supposed to go. Uh, stories, science fiction stories about uh, visitors coming down to Earth. I guess that would be pretty hard for somebody to understand. Mm. Uh, no. Like father, like son. No, not hard at all. They bred that fear George. of rejection. Right now in the cafeteria, what if she said no? I don't know if I could take that kind of a rejection. Right. <laughs> I think she'd rather go. She said, "Get your meat hooks." Oh. Ooh, <laughs> that dude swole. <laughs> you, you know you've been looking for a. Pot. Why don't you make like a tree and get out of here? Oh, he got that all wrong. <laughs> oh, he's real stupid. <laughs> make like a tree and leave. Come on, guy. And not you nor anybody else on this planet is going to make me change my mind. Oh, put on Van Halen. <laughs> Name is Darth Vader. <laughs> I have an extra tool. Hey, Marty, Marty. Hey, George, buddy, you weren't at school. What have you been doing all day? I overslept. Look, I need your help. I'm Planet Falcon and told me that if I didn't take Lorraine out, that he'd melt my brain. Yeah, well, uh, let's let's just keep this brain melting stuff to ourselves, okay? Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. Nothing's coming to my mind. Jesus, George, it was a wonder I was even born. What? What? Nothing. <laughs> Tell me, Destiny. Give me a milk. Chocolate. Was, I like chocolate milk like that, too. <laughs> me and my son, we drink chocolate milk every night. <laughs> my density has brought me to you. What the hell? What? Oh, what I meant to say. I'm George. George McFly. I'm your density. I mean, your destiny. I thought I told you never to come in here. Oh, hell no. You're going to tell me to. Oh, hell no. 
Oh. <laughs> oh, so this is how skateboards supposed to be invented? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ooh. Oh, they try to murder him. Oh, he got the Chuck T's on. Oh. Ah. 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 I probably stink so bad. Ah. Look at George in the back. I'm gonna find out. You're like, I done failed again. Let me get up out of here. <laughs> Fascinating devices. Video unit. Listen, Doc. You know, there's something I haven't told you about the night we... Okay, now. We run some industrial strength electrical cable from the top of the clock tower down to spinning it over the street between these two lampposts. Rated to 88 miles per hour. According to the flyer, at precisely 10.04 p.m. this Saturday night, lightning will strike the clock tower, electrifying the... Ready? He got some Tony Stark goggles on. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> uh. Oh man. Oh, she is crazy. This this woman is crazy. Dark brown. Stalker alert. Stage 5 clinker. Not yet. What about what about George? George you could fly? Oh, in love. Mm. <laughs> Dad, Dad, Daddy O. Mm. You're coming to a rescue, right? Okay, let's go over the plan again. 855, where are you going to be? I'm going to be at the dam. Right. right. Guys, take advantage of me. Mm. Oh. You mean you're going to go touch her on her? No, no, George. Oh. Look, it's just an act, right? Okay. Ugh. Nine o'clock, you're... Do you really think I ought to swear? Yes, <laughs> God damn it, George, swear. <laughs> Come on. Come on. I'm out for the count, right? Are you sure about this storm? Since when can weathermen predict the weather, let alone the future? But I'm going to have a chance to travel through time. Mm. No, you're not, buddy. You're going to get murdered by the Libyans. You will be shot by terrorists. Please take whatever precautions are necessary. A little weather experiment. What you got under here? Don't, don't touch that. Some new specialized weather sensing equipment. Yep. Ooh, that boy look clean. It's 18 years old. It's not like I've never parked before. Oh. What? Oh. Why do you seem so nervous? Is something wrong? Lorraine, <laughs> Lorraine, what are you doing? <laughs> it's from the old lady's liquor cabinet. Yeah, well, you shouldn't drink. Why not? Life. <laughs> Don't be such a square. Everybody who's anybody drinks. Hey, fun pack, y'all. I don't drink. <laughs> Jeez, you smoked it. <laughs> Part of your beginning sound just like my mother. <laughs> y'all, I don't drink. I guess I'm a square. Oh, well, it is what it is. We're going to take a little break, but we'll be back in a while, so uh, don't... 
Mm. Yeah, you late, bro. Have you ever uh, <laughs> been in a situation where you had to act a certain way, but when you got there, you didn't know if you could... <laughs> 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 That's gross. Ah, you kissing your son. You busting nasties with your son. That's so gross. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. I don't know what it is. My brother. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, it's crazy. She could sense that. It makes perfect sense. Bitch. I'm going to take it out of your ass. Oh, he about to beat your ass. It's a wrap. Let him go back. You're drunk. Mm. Well, look you, you got take him in back, all right? I'll be right there. Admit. Come on. Well, go on. This ain't no peep show. Oof. Oof. The hell are you doing to my car? Hey, beat it, spook. This don't concern you. Who you calling spook? Ooh. Take a look. <laughs> Hey, hey, listen. Guys. We go. <laughs> no so oh, man. Reefer addicts. They're about to whoop your ass. <laughs> oh, man. Mm. Get your damn hands off. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> What kind of punch was that? He ain't put no force behind that at all. Ooh. Ooh. Yeesh. Knocked him the hell out. Night, night. Yep. Pull it together. Pull it together. Okay? There you go. You know, when Biff wakes up, he gonna whoop your ass. <laughs> he gonna kill you. <laughs> hey, guys, you gotta get back in there and finish the dance. Hey, man, look at Marvin's hand. He can't play with his hand like that, and we can't play without him. Yeah, well, look, Marvin. Marvin, you gotta play. <laughs> man, McFly gotta whoop everybody's ass. <laughs> Oh shit. That dude had no sense of balance whatsoever. That little itty bitty push. Yeah. And he's he's alive. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we killing it. Killing it. Oh, I can't play this due to copyright. It's Marvin. Your cousin, Marvin Barry. Chuck Berry. <laughs> this supposed to be Chuck Berry's cousin. <laughs> They're looking at what the hell are you doing? Oh, man. I have a feeling about you, too. I have a feeling, too. Mm. Listen, I gotta go. But uh, I wanted to tell you that it's been <laughs> okay. <laughs> like okay, sure thing, buddy. I'm whooping my son ass if he <laughs> light the house on fire. Such a nice name. <laughs> damn, damn. <laughs> he checked like four clocks, <laughs> three watches. <laughs> At exactly the same time. Never left. 22 seconds. When this alarm goes off, you hit the guy. Hey. That's a lot of precision. Don't worry. As long as you hit that wire with a connecting hook at precisely 88 miles an hour, the instant the lightning strikes the future, I warn you about this kid. The consequences could be disastrous. That's a risk you're gonna have to take. You're lucky. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho. 
That's unfortunate. Ten minutes ought to do it. Okay. Time circuits on. Flux capacitor. Fluxing. And... Oh! Oh! Oh man, he got a lot going on right now. He can't drop that, he can't let go, and he gotta grab onto that. That's a lot. Oh! <laughs> oh, snap. Here we go, here we go. This time Running late. Oh! Way to use your head! Oh, <laughs> oh, that's life for you. Fix one problem, another problem jump up. Better hurry up, better hurry up. Better hurry up. Mm. Oh. He should be dead. He should be gone. Obliterated. Murder my lightning. He should be gone. Good job, Doc Brown. You successfully sent somebody into the future. Hmm. I felt like we was about the Terminator. Here. <laughs> mm. <laughs> the town homeless drunk. <laughs> he know by name. I still got time. Oh, he just witnessed them get killed again. Oh, oh, they lucky that rocket launcher didn't blow up. Hmm. What if he got shot in the face, though? I, didn't, I never got a chance to tell you. And the space time continuum? Well, I figured. What the hell? <laughs> right? Take care. You too. Right. Bye bye, Annie. Oh, and yeah, watch that re entry. It, it's a little bumpy. And he's taking off. And he's gone. Better crank. I don't know. I can't keep up with all of your boyfriends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what the hell is this? Breakfast. Oh. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> Mom. Yeah. So everything worked out for the better for him. You guys, you guys are great. Oh, oh, I sure like her, Marty. She is such a sweet girl. Mm. Tonight of the big date. What? Where, Ma? Aren't you going up the second coat now? Now, Bear, don't con me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I meant I was just starting on the second coat. Oh my God! It's crazy how one moment in your life can change everything. Like I've always told you, you put your mind to. 
They cannot get that kiss off. Like, always get interrupted. Go ahead, quit, get in the car. No, 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 Doc, I just got here, okay? Jennifer's here, we're gonna take the new truck for a spin. Well, bring it. At this point, I'd be like, you know what? Can you, like, come back next week? And then we can go back to the future? Like, I just got in last night. Mmm. And there we have it, y'all, the Back to the Future reaction. Man, that was a classic. Uh, I can't wait to see the next one. Um, but again, if you enjoyed yourself, make sure you like this video. Subscribe if you can. Also, click that bell to get notified. And if you have any other questions, comments, concerns, theories, hypothesis, feedback, conclusions, or suggestions, or just want to say what's up, make sure you do so below. Um, I know I got one suggestion for the first scary movie I'm going to be doing. It's going to be The Thing. With Kurt Russell, I've never seen it before, so that's, I think that's going to be a really good one. You know, I've seen Back to the Future a long, 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 long time ago. Like, I was a kid, so it was it was really great to see it as an adult because, you know, the perspective is a lot different. And a lot of the jokes, you know, I understand now. But um, anyways, again, if you enjoyed yourself, please let me know. Um, I really do appreciate you guys, um, and I'm going to try to get back into it. Um, but with that being said, thanks again. Hopefully you enjoyed it and I will catch you during the next reaction. Peace.